joining me. My name is Genevieve, and this is a touch of tarot. We are going to be pulling cards for Cancer. Let's see what's coming up. I'm going to start with three Oracle cards, and then I'm going to move to the tarot and reveal those cards as they come. So let's see what's coming up. In regards to when love is coming in for Cancers, please. These cards. Whoa. Okay, so I guess no, I'm not gonna take any of those ones. Okay, let's just sorry, cancers. I don't want to see the card, but we're gonna see it after. And one more. Okay. So let's begin. Oh my gosh. So you have true love as the first card. That's a big deal. This is the romance of a lifetime. You have your true love coming, first of all. That's huge, okay? Let's start with the tarot and see what's coming on, uh, coming out. So Cancer, first of all, just because I did see the Three of Swords, I feel like you're getting out of heartache or you've ended, you've closed a cycle somewhere else. Um, anyway... But it's not, it wasn't the easiest, and it actually saddened you, okay? So, okay, so here's the first, oh my gosh, you have the death card. Interestingly enough, I just did the Gemini, and they started off with a similar, well, with that, actually, the death card. <laughs> it wasn't similar, it was the exact card. And then we have... The Coursera, the Knight of Spirals. I love how the Knight of Spirals, which is the Knight of Wands. Oh, no, the Knight of Spirals. Yeah, that's the Knight of Wands. <laughs> but it has a sword. It always confuses me. Okay. The Dreamer, we have another Knight here, and this is the Knight of Cups. Okay. So... Interesting, Cancers, what I'm getting right off of this is, first of all, we're asking when love is coming in. Not only is love coming in, but it's your true love. Now, I could also say that you may have thought you were with your true love at one point. That's done. Um, that may have ended. Or this can be saying that you have met your true love and you have gone through a cycle of endings here um, and you want to go back type of thing. But the, I'm just waiting to hear messages because I'm getting I'm getting them in here. I also feel that you took the the initiative to end a situation because you want to go towards someone from your past. Sure, maybe it's someone you've left as well. Like you know, this could be a repetitive energy, um, but it's someone that you love. I do see here you have dropped the past, someone from the past, and you want to move forward with someone that you do know. I feel like you know this person very well, just because I'm seeing the full moon here in the sun, like in the in the clouds. So it could be a sun or whatever, but it's something full. Let's see what else we have. Wait. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available for you. Follow it with faith. So you may be in a waiting period here right now. You could know what you want, but there's just this, this energy of just pause. Look at the magic carpets this guy's on. You only need one. He has like 20. I feel like you've thought many times to move forward to this true love, to take your chance, to make your move, to express yourself. But I do also feel that you either hang on to the past or look back to the past or you're still watching the past. Because there's something chirping in this person's ear. It could be the chirps of fear. But the cards are literally saying the past is behind you. It's time to release and embrace new possibilities. And I do feel that this is happening in a positive way. You're going to go for your dreams.
You're going to go for your dreams. What, you know, let's see what we have here. Didn't get to ask a question, but I was asking what I was going to ask, what ended. And we do have the Ten of Stones um, sticking out here. And it's like also seeing the Ace of Spirals, um, which is the Wands, right? But you left the situation. I mean, it's already here with the Knight of Spirals. You may have had to separate finances in that situation. I feel personally like you left this other situation happily. Like you were happy to finally leave it. It wasn't growing. It, if anything, it was growing like a weed in a bad way. Like taking over what you were protecting and keeping for yourself or have built for yourself with the Ace of Stones here. <sighs> okay, let's see what else. Let's get one more here for Cancer. What's this, you know, weight? So the Six of Cups energy. So this is actually um, what I'm getting is this like waiting for your perfect person to come. Just hold off. Just, just relax. You have a six of cups coming in for you. I feel like the weight energy is more about getting to peace with yourself and letting go of the past. Probably you could have left a very long-term relationship as well. Because there's only one person here in the six of cups. Let me see here. Oh, wow. Yeah, I feel like you've left someone. So you may be waiting before you make this move to move on, you may not want to do that too quickly for some reason. You may be waiting for someone to move out of your home or to move out of your energy. Because I'm seeing this bird fly away. And I'm asking what the waiting is about. So you could be waiting for this person to get out of your life fully. To stop chirping in your ears. To stop trying to... You may just have enough one day and cut that bird out. One more card here before I move on to the extended for cancer. Oh my gosh, it wants to come out again. So this is the person you're waiting to leave. You know they will eventually. Um, they're putting up some sort of a block like, oh, I can't leave. I can't find a new place yet. I, I don't know. But you know better. And not only that, this person most likely knows that as soon as they're gone, you most likely will go towards your love. You also don't want to tell this person you want to be somewhere else. They cannot move quick enough. This is about moving. I think you're waiting for someone to move cancers and to get out of your space, out of your energy. One more. Let's get one more for cancers. So it's the world card. It's the ending card. When is this going to happen? It's going to happen this year is what I'm going to say. Um, but there are still factors that are out of your control, like the waiting energy, right? And the releasing of the past. But you can look forward to this new beginning this year. And to be honest, it can be with someone from your past, as we already said. But the world card, it's even facing the past, but it is about that renewal. And it can be with someone that you ended something with. I do feel that there's a, a strong situation that you ended or someone else that you also just kind of pushed away. And it's your true love, by the way, the one that you pushed away. It's really, you know... If you're dealing with other signs, check them out. So I'm seeing the red ribbon again, okay? And another sign got that. So thank you so much. I'm going to move on and dissect this over at Patreon. If you want to join, you're more than welcome. And if I leave you here, then thank you so much. I would appreciate a like if you got anything from this. And if not, well, bye for now. Have a beautiful, a beautiful, beautiful outcome where you're going. Okay, Cancers? Thank you so much. Bye for now.